<laughs> Welcome back to the Sunday Footy Show. It is time for the deep dive. We're going to take a look back to what would have happened in round eight. And West Coast were playing Sydney this round. Takes me back to this famous moment. One of my favourite moments in grand final history. And there is Leo Barry. Seconds to go. Comes in from the side and takes that. Oh. Famous commentary there from Steve Portermain. And the siren went with the ball in the hands of Leo Barry, TJ. So would that just be an average mark, would it? <laughs> yeah. No, that is a very good mark. Oh, but okay, it's, not, right. it's not rated like Alex Jezelenko's mark. It's not far think. off it. It's not spoken about like Jez's. Oh, OK. So, Cornsy, your most memorable grand final moment? Well, uh, apart from the Crows and their power stance and the disaster mm. before the 2017 grand final, I think Dom, oh. Dom Sheed's goal, yeah. I think, was uh, as good as it gets. Yeah. Uh, 2010 grand final, the, the replay game, Collingwood and St Kilda. I reckon Heath Shaw's smother was just yep. a turning point and set Collingwood up for the rest of the day. And, Bill, you've got a bit of a different one. Well, I have uh, Shane Biggs is his name in the 2000... Well, I know we don't have the vision, Mitch. Um, in the 2016 <laughs> grand final, but about yeah. five or six efforts which resulted in a Liam Picken goal, which was unbelievable. And, Brownie, Tom Boyd, I'll never forget that goal when he kicked the sealer in 2016, but you also love the commentary of it. I did. Uh, seeing it live was amazing, but the commentary that Brian Taylor gave it on <laughs> Triple M was brilliant. Have a listen to this. Buddy tackled by Mullis. Oh! Dropping the ball. Boyd took the advantage of played on from inside the centre square. Boyd's kicked the goal. Boyd's kicked the goal. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Dave, yeah. you got one? Yeah, look, Dom Sheed, as Kane yeah. said, um, also back to 1977, it was in the second grand final, Phil Manasseh's five best yeah, oh, yeah. goal that they kept Collingwood in it in a, in a late stage. Yeah. So, Brent, yeah. uh, Adelaide would have played the Fremantle Dockers. I want to just go back to this man. We forget just how good he is, but some Tony Modra highlights, Modra! Cornsy. So obviously, he was your hero oh, growing up, but the highlights package of Modra is as good as any player we've ever seen. Yeah, he was. He's just an extraordinary player. And we're going to speak about players unlucky to miss out in grand finals. And he was just that. Crows played in two and one two, and he wasn't in either of them. So he was a freak, Lordo, and uh, absolute hero of mine growing up. So just to remind people, he kicked 84 goals yep. and then does his knee in the 97 prelim. So he couldn't play in that one. In the prelim. In the prelim. Oh. And then Malcolm Blight dropped him after the first final in 1998. Ooh. And then he went to Fremantle in 1999. So unluckiest players to not play in a grand final or miss a premiership. Yeah, Robert Harvey for me. Yeah. Just one of the more admired players in the game and so unlucky to miss out. I reckon 1990, Ronnie McEwen missing out on yeah. selection for Collingwood. He played 20 games that year. Didn't play in the semi, but to miss out in the grand final was just uh, terrible. A great mate of mine, Bob Murphy. He was, part, he was captain of the football club, but wasn't there that day. So uh, he deserved more than anybody at that footy club to be part of it. Bobby Skelton. Superstar, never played, only played one final. Then. Yeah, semi, yeah. yeah. And brutal from Sheeds on Derek Kickett. Oh, Sheeds yeah. stands by, but he played every game and missed the grand final. Yeah, and not just that 93 yeah. year, but the 92 year as well, every single game. Yeah. 45 games consecutively and missed out. Uh, North were meant to play Hawthorne. You'll enjoy this one. This was the 1978 grand final. Peter Landy, a few kids were jumping <laughs> in his way and he didn't like it. Let's look below the camera what he does with his legs, the great Peter Landy. I think we'll take you up to uh, Bob and... Bob and Lou upstairs. <laughs> wait for it here. It is. <laughs> wait. Here, wait, wait. There. <laughs> so he wanted to go through, Bill, some great moments of uh, some boundary riders. That, uh, uh, only actually, one. Only one. Who is it, Bill? Dipper, of course. Have a listen to him at the Gabba, I think it is. Welcome uh, to the Gabba. Now, I understand you are a Lions supporter. Mate, I, yes, I started supporting the Lions when you could actually get a seat here back in uh, about 93, I think it was, when uh, the Bears first came to Brisbane. Used to work at uh, Triple M, trundled down to the uh, the Gabba. Fantastic, and uh, boy, you know, uh, testament to the crowds here. The Lions have been going fantastic. Is it first time at the Gabba? No, I've been the first time playing at the Gabba. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Spoke about his times at the Gabba. Is it your first Wasn't time? Wasn't listening. Pays to listen. Pays to Everybody's listen. done that. Uh, but oh, one no, of my no, favorite... actually, no. They haven't. <laughs> they haven't. Yeah, soccer interview. That was. Yeah. The... Anyway, uh, <laughs> my favorite moment was when Brett Kirk, his oh. first ever. Oh, no. no. Brownie, you can't. No, no I'm going to leave the studio. Again. I'm going. <laughs> and to speak from your heart, you need to have courage. You need to be honest and authentic. We're not always going to get it right. And sometimes. You're not going to agree with us, but that's OK, because just like you, we care. Just like you, we're passionate about the game. So if you want to come along for the ride, join us on Saturday Arvos, because we just love the footy. 
Oh, oh, that's no. one that's been famous for Brett Cooper. There's one you like, though. It's your time. Yeah, I do. Yeah. It, it, it was, again, uh, outside the game. It involves a uh, TJ. Oh, here we go. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Good luck, well done, Mark. You did that very well. well. Look, all the very best for Thursday night, mate. <laughs> yeah, Tone, good on you. <laughs> Uh, totally uh, rushed uh, it, uh, Absolutely brilliant. Just to wrap up this segment, North was playing Hawthorne. The big ask, it might be the biggest one of all, I think, uh, who is the greatest of all? I want to throw a man who needs to be the next legend inducted into the oh, AFL Hall of Fame, geez. and that is the great Wayne Carey. So they were due to play each other. Mm. And can who is the GOAT? Can he dethrone or has he dethroned the great Lee Matthews? So... Uh, if it's not one of these, who is the greatest? If not, which one is it, Corns? Uh, Wayne Carey's the best player I've seen. Didn't get to see enough of Lethal, so I'm going to go with the King. Oh. You've seen both, though. Oh, yeah, I have not. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for that. Um, um, I'm going to go Lee Matthews. Yeah, just on that, uh, Lee Matthews, let's take a look at a few of his highlights before I give you guys an answer, because it's something that we haven't got into the show, just how yeah, good this guy. Eight best and fairest in the era, playing with some unbelievable footballers. Over 900 goals as a forward and as a midfield player. He went late in his career, built a full forward. He did. And was as good as he was as a midfield. And was tough, very, very well, tough. Well, he, 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 he copped as good as he got. Yeah. He did. He yeah. got as good as he copped. Something like that. <laughs> and was <laughs> also a good very good got. coach, wasn't he? Yeah. So, Brownie, what do you reckon? Uh, like Kane, I didn't see enough live of Lee Matthews, so I'm going to have to go with Wayne Carey. But from what people talk about who played with Lee Matthews, Mate, Terry Wallace always talks yeah, sorry, about how good he was. He didn't play in the 1920s. No. He, he, he did play in the 70s and 80s, 60s, 70s and 80s. Wayne, Wayne Carey, Lordo. Different players. Yes. Two different players, really, Lordo. I'll go with the duck. Mm. Different players, but uh, I'm going with Lee Matthews. I think still is the greatest of all time. I'm going Kerry, Lord. I just okay. for the, the size component and the fact that he probably should have won three brown lights. Enough. That's forward. interesting, TJ, because still regarded as the greatest of all time. Yet oh, yeah. our panel are saying Wayne Kerry. Well, I think he's one of those blokes that it's a bit like when Wally Lewis talks about rugby league. Yeah. Whenever Lee Matthews says anything about the yeah. AFL, and he can be quite outspoken, you, you don't feel you've got any arsenal to actually contradict what he says yeah. because it's Lee Matthews. Yeah. You know? yeah. Enough said.